<laughs> hey, you guys, I'm going to be recording. I'm recording today. You don't have to record it for Lily. And okay. I will send that out to everybody. Gotcha. <laughs> So we'll, we'll start pretty much on time, but I do want to see if like 70 more people will join us. Okay, Rick, Rick, me. So Pat, I think you're going to have to get off one of those computers because it's echoing. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Stay on one. Hey, honey. Yeah. I'm going to have the dog come in. Okay. Here. I'm going on the computer now. Here's Ellie. How's everyone's day been? Yeah, good. Brett and Very Linda, long. Driving? Brett and Linda, you're driving? We're we getting, are. We're getting ready to get out of the car here. <laughs> That's fine. Listen, I get it. I've done that myself many times. So you guys, those of you, you know, who have been in Connect, it, we, it, we're changing. Things are different. Those of you who have been in Spark, completely yeah. different. Those of you who have never served, completely different. Welcome. <laughs> Oh, here comes a few more. All right. A few more joining us. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hello. I was just telling everybody that we have a potential of 77 people being on this call tonight. Oh my wow. God. I don't think that's going to happen. What do you think? <laughs> I think really? we can. Going, I think I'm going to wait for 70 more people to join. <laughs> <laughs> we will see about that. But we, I want to wait just for a couple more minutes just to make sure that. Yeah, definitely. Okay, here comes another part, couple people. Okay. Can you can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Who is that? I am Lori. Oh, hey, Lori. Yeah, we hear you. Sure do. I don't know why my picture's not up. My face isn't there. Well, you should you have vi video somewhere on your screen that you should be able to click on. Okay. Let's stop your hey. own cameras. Uh oh, Cindy, see you? That's Cindy. Does she see me? Yeah, I see. Uh, I see Polly. Is that who that was? That Art's voice? Yeah. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. we, we see you, Art. We definitely see you, Art. <laughs> do you see me? Yes, I saw yeah, you, sure Art. So we're good. Here come a more yeah. For some reason, my camera is not powered on to my Zoom. So I don't. Well, I hate that. We can hear you though. So if you have a question or something, at least we'll be able to do that. Hey, Rebecca. <clears throat> well, we only have 60 more to go to get to our 77. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so are they all kicked are they all kicked out, Cindy, if they don't show up? Yes. No, no are you kidding me? We need them. We need them. <laughs> It, it doesn't bode well, but we need them anyways. Yes, you do. I know it. Oh, uh, here comes some more people. Yay, praise the Lord. Uh, I'm, I would like to mute myself so that I'm not banging around here in the background. I'm going to mute myself. Yes, that would be the best for everybody to mute themselves, especially as we get okay. started. And then we'll yeah. have a we'll do some question and answer at the end. And then we everybody can unmute themselves, etc. Okay. More people are joining you guys. So I'm just kind of. <laughs> I sort of like this. It's, it's kind of fun. It is kind of fun. It is like total strangers <laughs> in my room. Hey, Heather. <laughs> How are you? Hey. Happy to see you. Now, one thing. Let's just say this as we're getting started. You can go into uh, what's on the bottom messages. I've never seen this. Is it called? What's it called? 
chat. You can go into chat and you can type maybe questions and then I'll get those messages and those questions so we can look at those a little, a little bit later too. So if you're thinking about something, you can type that question. I've been following. Heather, mute yourself. You guys, I'm. If you're willing, if you're willing, I'm going to wait until seven o five, and then we'll get started because people are still kind of coming in quickly here. So that's three more minutes. It really needs to be four minutes and thirty seconds, Cindy. Well, okay, we can do that. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. <laughs> I'm looking at my clock on my computer. All right. So we have because of the um, recruitment we've been doing and the promotion and the thing, the um, family meeting on Wednesday night, et cetera, we have 77 people in first or sixth grade shepherds and volunteers. So nine. We have 25 of we have 25 of us on, on this call right now. So we're only missing 52, which is pretty good. Hmm. All right. Well, 703. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. We're going to try to, Rebecca and I are going to make this presentation to you tonight. Rebecca Tosh is, um, she's a ministry coordinator all through the children's ministry department, but specifically in elementary with me. And so she and I are both going to be making this presentation tonight, but we're going to try to make it short. Okay. I'm not trying to make this be a long deal. <laughs> But it's going to be different on Sunday for sure. So we all need to be able to chat about this a little bit. All right, one more minute and then we'll really get started. Hey, Cindy. Yes. I'm not going to be able to be there on Sunday. I hope that doesn't throw things off. Who's talking to me? I'm sorry. This is Corey. Sorry. Oh, hey, Corey. Yes. Um, are you on the schedule for this Sunday? Uh, did you send that in an email? I did. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna look. We're gonna look at the schedule in just a minute. So we'll see. Okay. All on. right. Because I was checking my email. I think I need to give you a different email because I wasn't getting the emails. I did get the okay. text message though. Okay. All righty. Hello. Hey Judith. How are you? Hi, so, hey, I'm at work, so I may have to zoom out. Okay. So, because I'm I'm at work, but I wanted to hear while I'm in the resident. So I'm in the resident room right now. Oh gosh, you. Well, that's fine. You just do what you need to do. I think Aaron's at work as well. So okay. you guys, if you just, I don't know what, just walk around. I just room. listen. Um, okay. I may not say anything, but I'll listen. Okay, that's great. Okay. That's super. All right. Well, it's seven oh five, so we're gonna start. Let's do this. If everybody would mute themselves. And then Rebecca and I will make this presentation. And then at the end, we'll leave time to answer questions or have any kind of discussion. And you can stay on as long or as short as you want to. But let me just start us with a word of prayer. And I'm going to keep my eyes open so I can keep people letting people in. Okay. <laughs> All right, Father God, thank you so much. You are just so great and mighty and wonderful. And for you to bring the people to us in this last week or two or three to join us in this great mission that you've given to us of passing our faith to the next generation, really, Lord, to hundreds of kids. And we just are so grateful to you and to all of these who are joining us on this call tonight and those who couldn't make it tonight. I thank you for this team. And Lord, this is all to bring you glory, to extend your kingdom, and to um, help boys and girls to see you for who you are, Lord, Savior, King of Kings, best friend, soon coming King. And we just thank you and love you so much, Lord. And I pray that tonight, will be productive and helpful, or at least a starting point for everybody. And so thank you, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay. All right. Well, so here's where we're going to start. If you're not muted, would you mute yourself, please? Because I'm hearing a little bit of extra noise. Um, so what, what's going to happen basically with our format is we will email you every week. It's been a little sketchy right now as we're trying to get everybody in place. We will email you every week reminding you of our, our schedule. We're, we'll send out a monthly schedule, which we've already done. And so a lot of you have seen that. If you haven't, we'll make sure you're caught up. But we send out a monthly schedule. You should have that. Then we send you a weekly reminder. And in that reminder, we also send you the shepherd activities. So the small group activities that for now, all of you will be doing some of you will be um, in different roles in, in a couple of weeks, but right now everybody's gonna be a shepherd as we get started and just try to get our 
our bearings and get our feet under us. So you'll get the monthly October, November, whatever schedule of serving. And then you can help us understand best. Oh, I'd like to serve first and third, or I can only serve on uh, second service or whatever. You can let us know that we'll begin to understand and know what the schedule is that's best for you. And then we'll remind you weekly of, of that commitment and then we'll send you the small group activities. Um, also, I wanted to share my screen just to kind of help everybody understand how you can find stuff. So I, I lost my, I lost my Restoration Church screen. All right, hold on everybody. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let me get out of this. Um, you can look up your schedule anytime you want to. And let me share that screen with you right now. All right, can you see it? Can you see the Restoration Church website? Yeah. Because I told everybody to mute yourselves, I'm gonna assume you can. <laughs> okay, so if you go to the navigation bar at the top and go to what's happening, the drop down there to groups, click on groups. And in groups, you are a part of this group right here, connect. We've got all 77 people's names in there. So if you haven't been before, you are now. And you just click on connect. And there's several things that will come up. You can message people and say, hey, I can't make it this Sunday. Could anybody trade with me? So there's some, a messaging application here. Events is really just our Sunday events, you know, what that we've got first and second services. But resources is the thing that I really want to point you to. So resources, you click right here, September 25th through October 30th, suggested serving schedule is what we're working on right now, okay? And you click on that, and da -da -da -da, there's our schedule. <laughs> okay, now, I know that's a lot of stuff to look at. Corey, let's just look at you, for example. So, if you look over here in the left-hand column, there's the dates, first service and second service. And Corey, if I go all the way around, all, all the way along that, yes. No, that's different, Corey. Corey Snyder, you're not you're not on that week. So you're okay, you're not on 925. Do you see that? I hope. Um, who's yes, I see week? it. Okay, so who's serving this week is um, you start uh, with Linda. Yeah, well, you see, like, on the very first column across, 925, this is first service, Linda and Ella, all oh, okay. the way across there. Yeah, that's first service. And at the top of the columns is who you're serving with, first and second grade boys, first and second grade girls, third grade boys, and then the room numbers. If you go down halfway down the page, second service, 925, there's, yeah, there's Lori and Jeff, and then all the way across. The color code for right now is people who we... Um, have course who have said they're going to serve, but they didn't, haven't con confirmed with me. So Corey, you have now confirmed with me. And so I'm going to change that to black. Okay. <laughs> and then blue is, is young teens that I, I just have to talk with their parents or we'll let this happen for the first week. And then we'll see how that goes after that. Okay. So the, basically you're going to go to restoration church and then you're going to go to ministries and groups, and then you'll click on connect and you should be able to find this. Besides the fact that I'm going to email it to you monthly and then email you the, the, in the week that's coming up every week as well. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing that. Is that clear or clear as mud? Yeah. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> clear. All right. Um, the other big thing about this is our shuttle situation is still in place. And so we're asking all volunteers to ride the shuttles on Sunday still. They're gonna be putting down the gravel starting tomorrow, but that's gonna start at the back of the gym, way back there. And so to know exactly what's gonna be on Sunday, it's hard to say yet. So we're still planning that all the shuttles are gonna run as usual and they're gonna start earlier. So they should be available at Alpine Bakery, the bank and the medical yeah, center at, at, at 7.30, okay, 7.30 a.m. on Sunday. And then just running all the way through. So if you're running, if you're serving second service, that should just be there all the time for you. But if you're serving first service, you should be able to get on it at 7.30, 7.45, something like that. Um, and then we are going to start talking about what the Sunday morning schedule is going to look like. So all we're going to talk about in this call is first service 
and second service. We're not talking about third service. If you are planning to serve in our kids choir program, I'm gonna, we don't have to have a giant meeting for that. I'm gonna send you an email we can all read that email and be in that meeting together. Okay, so that's going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow, if you're serving in third service, you'll get an email from me. But first and second service is what we're talking about tonight. And how that's going to happen is if you're serving in the 830 service or the 1015 service, we're going to ask you to arrive 30 minutes early. So 830, we're going to ask you to arrive at 8. 1015, we're going to ask you to arrive at 945. And you guys, this Sunday, this is really important, this Sunday, Every single volunteer has to come to the second building lobby to the, the check-in desk and check in with one of our logistics team. Logistics team? That is Rebecca Tosh. That is um, Pat Morris. That is Aaron Meyer. That is Justin Augustine and me. And um, <laughs> we have, we're going to do a little bit more training, you guys, on Sunday morning because we've, we've got a little glitch on that. But um, all the service times are different than they were last week. So everything that we checked into last week is no longer available, it's all gone. And so we're gonna to have to re-up everybody to the time you're gonna be serving and uh, becoming a volunteer. So everybody's gonna to have to check in manually through us at that check-in desk. And then you can go right next door to um, our little kitchenette to Utility One and you can get coffee and donuts or water. Um, but we don't want you to stay in there. Then we want you to move to your small group room, you know, pretty quickly. In your small group room, there should be anywhere from one to three more shepherds with you, depending on how many groups of kids we've got scheduled for that classroom. So you and your other shepherd people can chat, get the lay of the land, look at the supplies we put out, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And we also know that there's gonna be early arriving kids. Many of you have children who are going to be with you. So we need shepherds in the classroom so that if any early kids are there that you know, they're being monitored as well. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna say for the moment. And Ms. Rebecca is gonna pick up, it is now 8.30 or 10.15 and let's see what's gonna be happening. Rebecca's gonna keep going on that part, okay? All right, Shepard. Oh, wait, we got to hold on. Okay, I'm going to turn mine up so I can hear. Okay, sorry. We have two computers in the same room, and so we're trying to not make the sound go crazy. All right, Shepherds, in your classrooms, which Ms. Cindy already showed, told you where those will be, there'll be tables, and you'll have bins in there. Uh, this one, for example, first and second grade girls. So they'll all be labeled. Um, and everything that you will need for your small group time during that 8.30 um, or 10.15 small group time, everything will be in here. So I'm gonna show you what's gonna be in there. Most important, your small group leader guide. Miss Cindy will already email this out to you each week prior to um, you serving but we'll also have it in your bucket. So make sure when you get in there, read over it again and kind of familiarize yourself with what you're gonna be doing. Oh, we lost you. Oh, we lost you. What was the last thing you heard? I just saw that it muted. <laughs> Miss Cindy will be emailing. Got it. Okay, perfect, thank you. I don't know what happened. I'm um, sure email you this, whatever week you're scheduled to serve, she will email you a copy of your small group leader guide. So go ahead and make sure that you read that when you get it and not on Sunday morning as the kids are walking in. <laughs> um, but when you get there, do take it out and just kind of read over it again to familiarize yourself with what you'll be doing that Sunday. You'll have your ponder point, which this Sunday is God is provider. Um, and then the most important things that you need to be doing, which is your discussion, and whatever your hands-on activity will be. So in your bucket, you will have everything you need. For this Sunday, we will have lace and sunglasses because we are gonna be talking about a Sabbath party because um, we're gonna talk about how God used the Israelites time in the wilderness to help them learn about who he is and also the importance of celebrating Sabbath. So we'll be having a luau. Um, so everything you need will be in your bucket for that. Um, there'll also be an activity. Um, we'll be talking about needs versus wants. So you'll have cards in there this week and there's a little activity to go along with that. 
Um, if you have time after you do those two things, you can go ahead and look up today your scripture for that Sunday and we'll have bookmarks. So you can go ahead and bookmark those in the kids' Bibles before you go into large group. Um, we'll also have prayer cards because we want you guys to pray with the kids um, during your small group time. And so we have two different kinds. This one has four different prayers that they can either write or draw. They do not have to do every single one of these. They can pick one or two or if there's time, they can do all four. Um, and then we also have this one where they just write out a prayer. Um, and this is also a great activity for them to do if there's any earlier writers while you're waiting for a majority of your kids to get there. They can go ahead and do this and they can also go ahead and do the bookmarks um, and getting that done. Uh, also, again, if you have time, you can do the connect question. And this Sunday, the connect question is what's your favorite thing to drink on a hot day? So we're going to take a minute and everybody or whoever wants to type in the chat box what your favorite thing to drink is on a hot day. Oh. We have to... uh -huh. Okay, <clears throat> awesome. So that those will just be some ways for you to connect with your small group. And oh. If you have during that time, it says um, you'll be connecting with any first time guests that come, the welcome bags will already be in your bucket. So you can go ahead and give those to any first time um, friends that we have. And then our kids, you know, this is a lot of information, mm -hmm. um, kids in divine service, um, those that come on Wednesday night and sign up for their different jobs. There will be one specific for your age group. So this one's first and second grade. So all the first and second graders are listed on here. And if any of those kids are in your group, let them go a little bit early so they can go into the connect room and get in place for opening song team, stamps, store, uh, puppets, any of those serving roles. And I think, I think that's it. Okay, I'm going to turn it back over to Miss Cindy. Okay, can you guys hear me okay? Hello? Yes, yes? okay. All right, and Rebecca, I'm turning it for us. Okay, so um, that was a lot of information, but you will, I will email basically all of that out to you, and then in your classroom, we'll have a card that will say, these are the five things that you can do today in order of importance. So number one will be this, number two will be that, number three. And I'll, I'll send all that stuff out via email this week as well, just so that you've got a reminder of that. All right, so small group time then will end around 8.50 and 10.35. And so we'll begin moving. You know, we're, we're not gonna be like crazy. If you're, you're still in prayer, we're not gonna say, you gotta get up and, and go. But basically we're gonna be starting trying to move around 8.50 and 10.35 and get into the large group room. And what's gonna be happening there is we're gonna have a five minute countdown. So kids would still have a little opportunity if they need to get their store card stamps, if they need to go to the store, if they need to get in place for their kids in divine service jobs that Ms. Rebecca was just talking about, we'll have about five minutes there. And then we will go straight into our opening song. So the opening song, that's about another three minutes. So, you know, that, that eight minutes or so right there will be a time for us to get organized, get in place, answer questions, get the kids where they're supposed to be. And we're not going to be upset if every single little thing is not exactly in place. So that's going to be our, our movement time and our time to get organized. And then so about 8.55, oh, opening song. And then right after that, then the host, which for the next couple of weeks is going to be me, but won't be much longer. We're going to be rotating in some new people to be hosts. But the hosts at that time will have about 10 or 12 minutes to do opening prayer. They're gonna show our rules video, make announcements, um, introduce visitors. And the way we're gonna introduce the visitors is the host will just say, all right, shepherds, if you've got a, a new friend, a new visit, a visitor, would you stand up and introduce that person to us? And then you'll just say their name and we'll hand, you know, give them a, a hand clap. And we're, gonna, we're trying to kind of do this stuff quickly. One of the reasons we're having to go quicker is because we're shaving 15 minutes off of each service. Okay, so 15 minutes 
It's a long time. Um, and then we will read our remember verse together. We won't have a lot of time to work on a monthly remember verse, but we're going to at least read it together. Same, we'll have the same verse for a month. And then we'll ask the kids to open their Bibles. So back there in small group time, if you had time, that bookmark, you help the kids look up that scripture, you put that bookmark in place. So right here, we're, we play a timeline of the Big God Story, where we are in the Big God Story timeline. And while that video is playing, we're going to ask you to help your kids get their Bibles out and open them up. And hopefully they're already marked with that bookmark. Those of you who work with us and connect know that's like a 10 minute process to open <laughs> open up our Bibles, look up scriptures. So we'd like to have that done in small group before you even come into the large group room. And then that's basically it for the host and kind of like our traditional things that we do. And then about 9, 10 or so, 9, 9 10 and 10, 55, the Bible teacher will come up for that this Sunday's portion of the Big God story. Um, we are talking, like Ms. Rebecca said, we're still talking about Moses. Those of you who've been in Connect are still in the life of Moses. And this week we're going to be um, in the wilderness, wandering in the wilderness and some of the things that happened there and focusing in on, on God, giving them the instructions about Sabbath. So that's about a 20 minute period of Bible teaching. And then we'll go straight into praise and worship, which is um, generally two songs. And our little praise and worship team had their first practice for the school year on Wednesday night. So they'll be up there leading us in worship. And then right after that, we will have what we call large group respond, where kids will respond to the word and what they've been taught that day. And so what we'll be doing this week is, well, Rebecca, you want to show them that bucket? Okay. All right. I'm going to mute myself again. Turn this up. Okay. Um, so every week we'll have the orange buckets. We won't have those that have been in Connect or Holy Moly and even Spark. Um, we have the buckets out at um, the cones or the chairs with games in it. Well, we've taken all the games out. No more games. Um, it will have what you need for the end of service. So this week it'll be the birthday run. So there won't be time. Um, and then Miss Cindy will talk about that in a minute. But you'll have like small group discussion questions in there. And then also just a little um, activity to do to help them learn and remember the remember verse. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so at the end of praise and worship, our large group respond leader, who's a Mimi for a couple of weeks, will come up and talk about how we want to respond to God's word. So this week in, in that orange bucket, besides those things that Ms. Rebecca just showed, there's gonna also be strips of paper. Yes. That's right, strips yes. of paper. And the strips of paper are gonna go back to the subject that you looked at in your small group about um, just talking about the difference between wants and needs. But this week we're talking about God as provider. So we're gonna be talking about God provides our needs. He brings the answers to our needs. So the kids will have a strip of paper where they can write their needs. They might have a prayer request, something that's going in on their family or in their life. They're gonna write that. And then we're gonna ask them to crumple it up, crumple the piece of paper up and hold it in their hands. And then we're gonna pray with them and for them. Small group leaders, I might ask you to pray over your small group. I might pray over the whole room. It just depends on how it feels at the moment. And then when, after we pray, we're gonna ask the kids to come up and put that piece of paper that they wrote their needs on in kind of a trash can situation that we're, we're gonna label God as provider and they're giving it to the Lord. Now, all these examples that Rebecca and I are giving you today about Sabbath and the luau and these strips of paper and needs and wants, that's just this week, but we'll be doing something similar on the topic of the next week. Every single week, it'll be similar, but it'll be the ponder point about God's character and the part of the big God story that we're on. It'll be different activities, but it's basically the same, same format every week. Um, and then we'll pray a prayer of blessing and... It should be 9.45 and 11.30 by that time. Okay, so in Jesus' name, if we're able to keep this time together and we were, you know, finishing up, then checkout begins. So parents will be starting to come in the room, but you guys, this might be news to those of you who haven't served with us before, but just because church is done, shepherds can't just leave because we've still got kids. So we have to have you stay until your small group has all been picked up or most of your small group has been been picked up. So we have additional activities 
from 9.45 and 10.30, is that, or whenever, 11.30, 10, 9.45 and 11.30, we'll have another 10 minutes or so of activity. This week, we have a monthly tradition that we play, we celebrate birthdays with a birthday run. And so we're gonna do the birthday run during checkout and we're just gonna all participate together and celebrate birthdays while we're checking out. So it's gonna be pandemonium. And as soon as your kids are gone, you can leave and get going home or go to the other service or whatever it is that you're wanting to do. We're gonna ask, also ask you to just straighten your little area, your bucket, put your cone back on the chair, make sure that your grade sign is on that chair. And we'll be giving you some instructions from the microphone that day as well. Um, you guys, that's the whole service. So what do you, <laughs> let me just say one more thing too. Let me just say one more thing about behavior and that this will be very short. People always want to know, what do I do if, a kid, if kids are misbehaving? We're going to be, um, always there's going to be other shepherds with you. You're never going to be by yourself with kids. So you, we've always got a backup person. I always try to remind the kids of our rules. If they're talking, I remind them of rule number two, no talk. If they're rolling all around the floor or something, we tell, you know, rule number three, no, no walk, no moving around. Remind them of our rules. Secondly, redirect and, and um uh, correct the kids. So you might need to just have them turn a different direction. You might need them to get up and separate from the child that they're interacting with. You might need them to get up and sit right directly in front of you, but redirect them and correct the, the behavior that's poor. What's What I don't like is if we just call the kids in and we just say like, Justin, well, poor little Justin, he doesn't know what he did wrong. We need to say, Justin, I need you to move over here in front of me and stop talking. So we need to always give instruction to the kids. And after, after you've done that two or three times and the, and the child is just not paying attention or not responding to you, then we're going to just ask you to send them to the back of the room and one of our logistics people will take care of them. Maybe have them rejoin you in you know, five or 10 minutes when they can calm down or maybe not rejoin you. Um, all right. So that's, that's it. Heather, I saw you had a question a minute ago. Yeah, yeah. just really quick. The one thing that I, I think I'm not clear on is, so is it all volunteers because this i'm not volunteering until next sunday is it all volunteers have to show up this sunday to do that thing or are you just saying when you show up on your sunday you go to the check-in okay yes yes okay. thank you that's a good question it, it'll take us a few weeks for everybody to serve their first time and on that first time of serving we will get you into the system correctly so you can check in as a volunteer but no we only want who's scheduled this sunday to show up we can't we can't manage more than that so that was a good question okay. thank you <laughs> anybody else is this clear or is it crazy yeah cindy do you want to talk through the transition between the 8 30 and the 10 15 the exiting and entry yeah yes let me talk about that for a minute actually rebecca and i just shot a video this afternoon it's it's a little crazy but but we are she's gonna post that on our instagram stories and then i'm gonna also email it out to, or text it out i guess to all the families and i'll make sure to include all of you as well but basically what's going to happen first service we're going to allow no, we're not going to allow. No, we, we've gone back and forth so many times. First service, eh, no, first and second service, parents will be dropping their kids off to us in the front lobby of building 200. And we have got stanchions going all the way down the middle of the hall in building 200. On the left hand side, the children from pre K or three and a half through second grade will go down on the left hand side of the hallway. And you shepherds, if you're in that age group, for all of you on this call, um, the first and second grade shepherds, we're gonna want you to, at least during that arrival time, have one person just kind of like leaning outside the door so that you can say, oh, first grade boy is coming in here. Um, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth will be down like straight ahead in the lobby area in room 207 and room 208. So kids will be kind of, walking down to the classrooms themselves. The only parents we're gonna let through the hallway at all is if their kids are new or very young. Other than that, we're gonna to try to get all the kids to their own classrooms because we just don't have room for parents to be going two different directions, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Then at the end, we will all be in room 206. And so all of our kids will dismiss out of 206. So parents will be coming in the back room of 206 
and we'll be calling preschool and kindergarten kids from the other part of the building. They will be coming into 206 and everybody will exit out the back exterior door of that, of that room. Wow. Guess what? While that's happening, second service people, volunteers, kids, people dropping off their kids are coming on the left-hand side of those stanchions into room 207 and 208, dropping their kids off to new shepherds who are in the small group rooms getting ready for second service. So it depends on when you're serving. That's why we need you there 30 minutes early because it's going to, it, we're doing a delicate dance in a small building with not a whole lot of access to get a lot of people in and out quickly. We only have 30 minutes between services. And if Pastor Chuck goes over at all, then, you know, we don't, if he goes over five minutes, it'll be eight minutes before we see the first parent. You know what I mean? So it's, yeah. it's, it's tricky. Mm. So we'll have signage. We've got the stanchions already set up and we're going to have our logistics team out in the hallways trying to help direct traffic and point people in the right direction. So there you go. <laughs> so all the pickup is going to happen out of the back of the big room. They won't be coming in the front to pick up the kids. Right. They'll come through the front lobby and they'll come down the right hand side of the hallway on the right hand side of those stanchions. And then they'll they'll go into room 206 where we'll be calling their kids' names on a microphone. And so everyone in 206 and the and the pre-K kids down at the end of the hall, they'll all hear it. And everybody will converge together in room 206 and then exit out the back exterior door of that building. Yeah, it sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> hey Cindy. Yes. Hey, it's Lori. Um yeah. Are we are we going to have any kind of special T-shirts you want us to wear the Sundays that we serve, or does it matter? Well, like, you know, I'd really like if you have a children's ministry T-shirt, I'd love to for you to wear that, and we've got many more um, in stock that you can pick up in room two hundred six. However, okay. we are we are um, getting some new T-shirts designed and printed for all volunteers, that whether it's adults or kids or whatever. So that we don't have them yet, but that's gonna be coming up in a few weeks. So I'll kind of keep you posted okay. about that. But if you can wear a children's serving shirt or come and be ready to um, grab one from 206 when you arrive, that would really be nice. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Can I just interject something really quick? Of course. Um, I was just going to say that at the end of each service, when we're getting ready to do checkout, it's super important to have the management happening of your small group or of, you know, if you're a shepherd or whatever, because that time is very chaotic. Everybody's trying to hear their name. They see their parents, everything, and it just gets really, really wild. So if you're a shepherd and you have a small group at, and they're in 206 before checkout, do your best to try to keep them as calm as possible and like doing those activities that are in the orange buckets, you know, with the memory verse, things like that, because then it cuts down on that chaos and, you know, it helps us as a safety issue too, because then we know, okay, we've had this many kids and this many are gone, you know, um, with that. So I can just say from experience and check out for the last two or three years, it's just a little chaotic. So do your best to try to come up. And if you've done all those activities, you know, play a small game like Simon says, or, you know, ask them questions about what they learned today or, you know, get them critically thinking, but the running around and rolling on the floor and everything like that at the end of the day has got to stop if possible yeah. because it gets chaotic. And we're trying, you know, we're trying to get parents in and out. And especially with in between two services, we're trying to get new parents in and uh, uh, everybody out so if you can just have that in your mind and in your heart to you know come up with things that they can do at the end you know so that they're not running around like crazy people and we're trying to find these kids because they're not listening for their name they're over there rolling around on the floor or trying to get on the stage so yes Aaron thank you so much and this week will be a little cha more chaotic than I would like for our first Sunday because it's gonna be the birthday run but we can still keep our small groups in order when the kids are, the birthday ones are um, celebrating their birthdays. Yeah, and that's how we've got, we're gonna have extra things in those orange buckets at the end, discussion questions and a little activity. So we've got something to do during those 15 minutes there. Okay, um, yes, yes. Um, oops, sorry, okay. Uh, real quick too, I've, had, I've seen a couple messages. If you haven't already, 
Will you check that you are able to view the connect group on the church center, either on the app or on the website? Either at some point, you, you don't have to like right now, but at some point over the next um, day or so, just make sure that you're a, that you're in the group and you're able to view the resources. Because if not, then we need to add you so that you don't miss out on any important information or the serving schedule. Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Rebecca. Yeah, all the stuff that I showed you earlier when I shared my screen, I was just showing you the website, but the navigation is the same on the Church Center app. And so you can go to the Church Center app and at the bottom, there's you know giving, there's events, but there's groups. So click on that group and you'll see all the same stuff that I showed you from the website on the Church Center app on your phone or your mobile device as well. Okay. All right. All right, you guys, we don't want to hold you. Oh, yes, any other questions? Comments? I was just wondering if, uh, say their children aren't picked up by the time the second service starts, what do we do with those kids? We will, we will integrate them into their age group, small group. So we'll take them out of 206 and we'll bring them to one of the classrooms and they'll just get engaged in, in the small group and they'll just same get to do the whole thing over again. Yeah, yeah, same thing. They'll just get to do the same thing. We are, <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Unlike what we've been doing with Spark and Connect being completely unique services, we're not gonna be able to do that anymore. So if a child does go to first and second, it's gonna be the same thing. Third service is going to be kids' choir practice. That includes a light lunch between second and third services. But hopefully none of you will have to deal with any of that unless you are joining us for choir, which I would love that. It's going to be a lot of fun. But um, we'll just reincorporate anybody back into their small groups, and they'll just start over again if their parents don't come to pick them up. We, all we can tell is according to how their parents check them in, and if they check them in correctly, which it's confusing. It is confusing, and it happens a lot. Um, we think they're going to be picked up, but they're not. We'll just we'll just keep them. We'll keep them. All right. What else? We'll just be waiting to go into the promised land. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> we'll still be in the wilderness. Yeah, let's get out of we can have a discussion around that. You're waiting for God's deliverance to your home. <laughs> that is hilarious. And that's right. That's right. It, you guys, it's going to take us a while. I mean. I'm saying it'll take us through October for everybody to serve one time. Some of you aren't scheduled until later on in October. And I'm saying to myself, it's going to be after Christmas before we all can say, okay, I get it. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. And I know the kids and I feel good about my role. It just takes time. So I, I hope and I pray that you'll give us some time because it will be a little rough, you know, these first couple of weeks, but it's a blessing to serve with the kids and it's a blessing for us to serve with you. And I'm super excited for all of us to be on this journey together. It's, it's a, it's a big deal. And I'm glad you're part of the big deal with us. One question. Oh, hey. yes. Yes. Um, did you say there's going to be, I noticed that you got me down here a bunch of times. Am I, you said there's going to be two people in there with me or one. Well, person? not a, in the younger kids, there will be, well, yes, hold on, Rick. In the younger kids, we're trying to have two shepherds for every group. In the older kids, though, you're in a room with at least three other small groups. If you're in third or fourth, fifth or sixth, there's three other small groups. There's four small groups meeting in each classroom because we don't have okay. enough classrooms. Gotcha. And Rick, your name's on there so many times because really, and you're in red <laughs> because yeah, I, I haven't really confirmed, I haven't really confirmed that. That's going to be about you and Justin being in communication with one another so that we know if we need you. Right now, you can see we need you, but as we recruit more people, hopefully I can substitute your gotcha. name. Okay. I just didn't know. You're it. in red because you're under the blood. That's what there I said. There you go. There you go. I was and thinking something else. But... <laughs> you don't need it. <laughs> All right. And then. Rebecca just, Miss Rebecca just reminded me of one more thing. I mean, I hate to, it's not, a, it's not bad news. Yeah, I'm going to put it up. Yeah. It's just a thing to know that the second Sunday that we do this, October 2nd, is our preteen um, fall retreat, our annual fall retreat. And right now there's almost 70 of us on that retreat. And so a lot of leaders are going to be gone that day. So if there's any way on this planet in Jesus name that if you're scheduled on October 2nd that you can make it, please 
because we're going to be shorthand. <laughs> it is going to be a little difficult. Um, anyways, that's all I have to say about that. It's just going to be a little bit different Sunday. We just didn't know we'd be starting two services the week before we had the retreat. So a little bit of bad timing, but that's who we are. All right, you guys, I don't want to hold you anymore. If you want to stay on and ask us any, any questions personally, you can do that. Um, but I'm going to just thank God for you. Let me just thank God for you right now, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for all the people who showed up tonight. Thank you for people who signed up to serve. Thank you for their children. Thank you for their heart to serve the next generation. Thank you, God, for this church who cares about kids. Thank you, Lord, for parents who entrust their children to us. And so, Lord, we thank you for everything we talked about tonight. I know it was like a water, uh, a fire hose pouring on everybody. But, Lord, I just pray that you'll help us over these next few weeks and couple months, Lord, to smooth out our, our children's ministry processes and all for the sake of the kingdom and bring you glory. We love you, Lord, so, so much. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. Love Thank you, you guys. Sunday. Thank you. Blessings. Bye. Thank Bye, you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Everybody so Cindy, sorry. are you still going to be on? My name's Shannon. Yeah, Shannon, I'm going to stay. I'm not leaving. <laughs> Hi, I'm sorry. I didn't want to ask. I am looking oh, everywhere so for this calendar and I cannot find it. So I was wondering if you could just really quick one more time. Yeah. Because I've never seen it before in kids' ministry. So I want to make sure that. Yes. Okay. So we've been adding people so quickly. Let, Rebecca's checking right now just to make sure that you're in our Connect app. I did. Like Shannon, for you, I emailed you individually, but you know, that might, who knows, that might've gone to the junk mail or something like that. All right, so the best thing for you to do is either on, on the app, the Church Center app on your phone or on the website, the church website. And I'll just say from the website standpoint, you can go to the top navigation to ministry. Is that what it's called, ministry or ministries? But Shannon, let me look really quick, make sure I'm not telling you the wrong word here. No, yeah, I'm, see, what's hap it's called what's happening. It's called what's happening. Yep. And then you click on what I'm going to share my screen. Let me let me just do that again. Yeah. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, all right, here we are. I'm going to share my screen. I tried to catch it and I'm so sorry. I just want to make no. sure that. Um... No, no, no. You know, I don't know why that restoration church will not stay up. So let me let me go back out again. I want to show it to you rather than me just saying it. I don't know why that thing will just leaves me every time I go into Zoom. Okay, here we go one more time. I'm sharing my screen and Restoration Church. Okay. All right. Can you see the website? Almost. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So then at the top navigation there, you see what's happening. And under yep. that is groups. So you click on groups. And inside of groups are all the groups you're involved with. Like if, uh, if you're in a people group or whatever kind of groups you're in, they would all be there. Oh, the one that's that, the problem. So I'm not logged in. That's the problem. Oh, you know what? That is a good point, Shannon. That's a good thing for us to be able to remind people. I'll just I'm not, well, I don't even know that I have a login. But you can, you can create a login. You can go, you can, let, let, let's think about that for a second. Like right there where I just logged in. Hmm. Hmm. You can create a login. It's not a, it's not a hard thing. I'm sorry, I, I'm logged in, so I can't I can't find it right this second to show you what to do. But um, if you are going to groups, we're about to try to do this. Okay. Yeah. See, if I go to groups since I'm not logged in, it yeah, takes. So um. Yeah. Oh, I see login. Okay. Hold okay. On. Okay. So is, once you're logged in, then you will see this Connect logo because we already have you in that group. Are, are you still looking at my, my screen that I'm sharing? I'm, um, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm okay, trying look, to log in. Hold on. Okay, look, look at the screen I'm showing you, and then you can log in, and we can go through it again if you want to. But once you log in, you're going to be in this group, Connect. And so you're going to click on Connect. Click on Connect. And then go over to the left-hand side where it says resources. Are you seeing that on my screen? Got it. Yeah. And I then see right that. now we're working on this schedule, September 25th through October 30th. Okay. okay. You'll click on okay. that. And then there it is. So now let's see if we can find you, Shannon. This is a gigantically long list. Rebecca, help. She's on there. Okay, where, where is she? Do you see? Um, 
Yeah, let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I need to bookmark this login. Okay. I see. So Shannon, I've got you on October 2nd, second service. And if you're looking on this schedule, I've got you in red just because you and I had not you hadn't confirmed it with me, but I'm gonna put you in black. That means you're confirmed. <laughs> Is that the only place I've got? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Um, and if you're willing to serve more than once a month, that would be a blessing, but once a month is, is also a blessing. So I am willing to serve. Um, I am absolutely willing to serve more than once a month. I am <laughs> trying to, so I, I have a little guy that I get every other week, every other okay. weekend. Okay. And I don't, I don't mind serving with or without him. That's totally fine. Like whether I have him or I don't, it's, it doesn't matter to me either way. I'll serve wherever y'all need. All right, well, I was going to go into, I was going to go into middle school ministry. So, but it's on Wednesday. So that's conflict for me a little bit right now, but. Um, okay. Okay. And you know so what? It, we, yes. And we need you. And listen, if, if middle school is your thing as right now, we, we have just been sticking people wherever we, wherever we can put them. But as we begin developing our November schedule, I can put you with the fifth and sixth graders. And so that that's more along the line of those older kids, but that's more what you're interested in. Wherever you need me, you okay. put me wherever you need me. Well, I, I, I don't, I, I've that. served, I've served all the levels from babies okay. to high school. So, <laughs> okay. And in well, older, in other churches. So, okay. So what I'm going to do then uh, offline later on tonight or tomorrow morning, I'll email you with a couple of um, gaps where we need people and see if any of those would work with your schedule. How about that? October 2nd. I mean, I'm great for that, but if, yeah, if I've you got need to Okay. Yeah, I've got you down for that, but I'm saying a second time to serve between now and the end of October, I'm going to give you a couple of options where we're still in need, and if any of those would work for you, you can just let me know, and that would be a blessing. Absolutely. You got it. Whatever okay. you need. Right. I will any tell you, I, I can tell you right now, the, the first service is very difficult for me. Okay, so second, that's fine. Listen, so we need to do my, my goal was to, my, my goal was to always um, serve second, worship third. Okay. I don't know how you, I don't know what you guys call that, but we always said serve one, worship one. So I don't yeah, know that's, how that's you. What we, that's what we say too. So I'm putting, putting okay. you on that your, your desire is second service. I've already got you scheduled for October 2nd, but I'm going to give you another couple of options. And if they would work, that will be a blessing because we've, we've still got some holes in our schedule. So absolutely. Yeah. I have a lot of energy and I love hanging out with the kids. So yeah. well, you're a blessing. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you guys. You guys are amazing. I, I give you a lot of credit. And I also have a coach voice. So if you need me yeah. to use it, you let me know. Okay. <laughs> I have a microphone. That's usually what I have to use. Thank yeah. you, my, my, oldest is, my oldest is serving. Um, he's helping lead worship in the well. So I have a 21-year-old and a five-year-old. Wow, that's interesting. I love that for you. That's great. Yes. All right. Well, I yeah. see Steve is raising his hand to me, so I'm going to hey. jump off Shannon yeah. and ask Steve, too. Thank you so much. Steve, yes? Yeah, real quick. Um, sorry for joining late, but uh, do I need to go through a background check at all? Um, this is my first yeah. time, so I imagine yes. something like that. So what's happening is my assistant, she is going through all of the list of all of our new volunteers. And if you haven't already, check your email, but you should be getting okay. an email quickly from our company called Checker. And Checker. Okay. yeah, and, and once you respond to that, it will start the process. What we do, Steve, sometimes is we let people test drive one okay. week. And because you're never alone with the kids anyways, but test drive one week just so you can sure. say to us, yes, I can see myself serving this environment. Over the years, I've had so many people say, oh, I don't know if this is really for me. And we've spent 25 bucks for them to tell me no, you know? Right, 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 right. Yeah, so, okay. So that makes sense. It, yeah, if you don't get it right away, it might be around the time that you're scheduled first. But yes, we will be doing background checks on everybody. Okay, you know? I'll look out for that. The second thing is um, I am scheduled. My first ever uh, will be on 10-2, which um, who who should I look to learn from? Um I'm, I'm fifth grade boys, and I, I understand a lot of you guys will be out. Emmanuel will be yeah. out. Right now. Yes. Yeah. So, so, and I'm sorry you missed some because we went through all of that in the whole schedule. Okay. What, what, what we are doing too is our record of this. What do you think okay. about you going back? Because, and I'll send it out to everybody tomorrow. What do you think about going back and just sifting I'll through the first five or ten minutes and then watch? Because we went, what we did is we went over this whole schedule 
what every, where everybody is, whatever, what's happening now. No, you, so you know your schedule when you're serving. That's right. And yeah, yeah. this was the, the day or the weekly schedule for 830 and 1015 are going to be exactly the same. And Perfect. I will be emailing you the way I work this thing out is I will email you the small group activities. It's not hard. It's small discussion, easy activity. Um, and then at the very end of the service, some discussion questions and response to the word. But I'll email all that stuff to you. So we, we went over like what's happening this Sunday, but that won't even be what you need because you're serving on the second. Um, right. So we'll email. So for example, this is basically the whole small group thing for 30 minutes. And then we give you some other additional things like you can, we have a fun question that you can talk about. The kids can yeah. write down prayer requests and um, you can, you know, of course, pray over them. So we give you a couple more things, but it's, it's pretty simple and All very right. straightforward. And I will email that to you a couple of days before the Sunday that you're going to serve so that you, know, right now, we are just trying to get to this first Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then All right. we'll send that to you. And then you know you you understand how to get to your serving schedule since you already know when you're serving. Yeah, I got it. Yep. So we send out a monthly schedule and then we do a weekly reminder of here's who's scheduled to serve and here's the small group activities. And once you've served once, we're basically gonna have the same schedule every week. You know, it starts with small group, then it goes to large group. Here's the things we do. Um, but Rebecca will be in charge. This Rebecca, who you're looking at, will be in okay. charge on October 2nd because I'll be at the retreat. Now, and Emmanuel will be with me. We are, we will be back before second service is done, but I don't think I'll be back soon enough to, to help. Um, and then third uh, service is completely different because it's choir practice. So, yeah, is that's that all I need. I'll, I'll, oh. I'll check out the recording. Yep. Okay. Thank you so much. And I'll, I'll get that sent out at least by in the morning. Okay. okay. Maybe tonight. No okay. No Thank problem. you, Steve. You're a all blessing. Right. Appreciate Thank you. you. All. all right. Good all right. night. Take care. Bye. You too. Bye bye. Okay. Let me turn the recording off.